Hi, in this session, you will learn how to recreate this beautiful header component. Components are reusable building blocks that reduce duplication of effort by eliminating, you know, the need to copy and paste controls across all your screens. What am I saying? I've added these components to all the screens of my Power Apps. Imagine there's a need for me to change this logo. Instead of changing it across all these screens, all I need to do is to come to my component So immediately I made this change in my component, it will appear in all of the screens across my application without having to copy and paste. How beautiful is this? Let's get right into it and learn how to create this beautiful component. Your component can either be a local component or a global component. A local component means that you are going to create this component inside the application you want to use the component and you would not be able to use it outside the application but you can use it across all the screens of that application. In this video, our channel is to create this other component as a local component. So the first thing you will do is to go to the component and create the component if you don't have one created already. But if you already have a component created, just rename it to other component. Resize the width, 1366 is the width of my application. And 115 is the preferred height that I want this header to be. The next thing is to go ahead under display and bring in HTML text control. In the properties pane of the HTML text control, look for your width and ensure that the width reference the width of your other component. So you type in other component dots. The properties will come out. Select width. This is now carrying the width of your other component. Do the same thing for the height of the HTML control. Select height dot height. It will give me the height of my other component. Now the next thing is to go to the HTML text property inside this HTML text property we are going to copy in a simple HTML script Here we are using the HTML div tag and we are using the style attribute to style it. We give it, we give it a width of 100% and a height of 144 pixel. Now this height is too big because the height of our HTML text control is 115. So what you want to do is to make the height 114 pixel. Just one pixel lower than the height of the HTML text control. But now the next thing is to select this HTML control come to the properties and change the padding to zero. So rename this HTML control. You have the header component without the color. On your browser, go to uigradients.com. Show all gradient and choose any gradient that you like. I like this argon and I'll select this. I'll just copy the code of this background and end where the bracket ends. In my background here, I'll paste this here. And now you have the color there. In case you don't see any color at all that you like here, you can just select any of these and come to your power apps, go to your screens, select this field property and go to custom. Choose any of the color and copy the X value. Go back to your components and you can replace this X value here with the hash symbol. You can put together different value to make this beautiful gradient. So select your HTML control and insert your image control. I want this control to be rounded. So the sum of my width and my height divided by two will be my border radius, which is 100. I'll write a simple formula here and I'll select the dot. I will see all the properties of this user. So I want to see the user's image. Next to the user image, I want to see the full name of the user. So I will just insert in a text label. And instead of the text, I will type in the simple code again, user. This time I will select the full name of the user. The next thing is to add an icon of my choice. And I'm using the local techies icon. 
Knowing that every country in your power apps has properties, you can create your own property for this other component. So other custom properties, select new custom property and rename it. Your property type can either be input or output, but we want this property to receive values and display this our value. So we'll use the input property. And for the data type, it's going to be text because we want it to show the name of the header. Create this. And now it's showing you that your property header name is text. So we want to change that. Select the header components now. And you can now see the property that you have just created. So instead of it to be text, we want this to be... Everyone can do text. Now the next thing is to insert the text label. And instead of coding our text label to be Lola here, all that we're going to do is we're going to reference our header component property. So you say header component dot the header name property that we have created. So whatever is inside the header name will be here. So here we have everyone can do tech. So we're going to customize this. I'll just choose Lato Black and make that very bold because everyone can do tech. You can also modify this name. Now go back to your application, insert, under custom, you will see the component that you have created. I'll select it and voila, I can see my component here. I'll do the same thing for the rest of the pages of my application. Now let's imagine that there's a need for us to change the logo. Instead of changing it across all these screens, all we need to do is to go to our component. Change the icon in your component. You can also change change the icon in your component. You can also change the display name of the header. Instead of everyone can do tech, you can change it to lamp apps today. Why not? It's so simple. If you go back to your screen, you see that this change has been effected across all the screens. Let's change it again. So I've changed this again. And in real time, it has changed in all of my application. You can be sure you have learned this if you replicate it. So replicate it, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. See you in the next video.